If I was to ask you, do you think you have free will, the ability to have made a different decision that would have led a different path? Well, most people would say yes, but I'm going to tell you why that's not true. A lot of philosophers have acknowledged the fact that human beings simply have no freedom over their conscious choices and free will is just an illusion. To put it simply, the actions that you think affect your life are determined. If you are watching this video, you have two choices. Either you can turn off the video or keep watching. You may believe that you have a say in this decision that you are about to make. Either you will turn off this video or you will not. The action will be dependent on what you want. Every action that you perform is determined by three factors belief, desire and temptation. So if you're still watching this video, it is because of the combination of these three factors and vice versa for the people who stopped watching. You can never control these factors. Think of why you like a certain flavor of ice cream. It could be because you like the taste of it. Well, then why do you like the taste of it? You never have a say in what you like and what you don't like. To actually know how it is to have free will, you would actually have to know every single scenario and every single outcome having control over all the environmental factors and influence of people to all the choices you have in front of you. To simply put, it's not possible. To further back of my claim, a study was carried out where 12 subjects were chosen and monitored under fMRI, where they were assigned a task in which they would have to press a button with either their right or left index finger. The results were monitored and the outcome was that the neurosurgeons were able to tell what the patient was going to pick 10 seconds before they were even aware of the choices. Which is quite impressive and it does make you wonder about whether anyone has any say in the decisions that are considered moral or immoral by the society. So if I were to put you in a scenario where a person went ahead and killed your entire family, you may think that it was wrong and how could anyone do that? However, if you were in his shoes, you would do the exact same thing. A person's actions are reflected by the upbringing, environment and influence that other people have on them. So in this case, there was always going to be a person that is always going to kill your family. He or you could not have had a different outcome. So should that person be locked behind bars his entire life or given death penalty just because it was going to be that way? Personally, I don't believe they should be given those penalties, but that's just my opinion. Would be interesting to know your opinion if you are someone who studies law. It is really difficult to understand that you don't have free will and your choices have no say in this universe. Even if you turn back time to the start of the Big Bang, everything that has ever happened will happen the exact same way. Now there's a really bad reaction that some people get when they understand that if they are doing really bad in life, it is because it was always going to be that way and it could not have been the other way around. They fall into a feeling of despair and give up on life. It is entirely possible that you or someone you care about can drop dead at any time or something you work for can collapse at any moment. And there can be no sign or indication of the worst of life being upon you. If it makes you uncomfortable, I'll tell you how I cope up with the sense of the worst being always ahead of me. The only way is to know it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you live or die. You are just here as a pack of particles floating on a rock in a universe that is going to kill everything that ever was. To live each day as just another one where you do everything you enjoy and sleep with knowing you might not wake up ever again.